Today I wanted to sit down and have this conversation because I think it's time that I speak my truth. The reason why I'm making this video is because a few months after my sister passed away, there was an article that came out. In this article, there were photos of me and my sister's ex-husband. In one of these photos, it looked like we're holding hands, which most people thought we were, but we were not. Also in this article, it said that I moved in with my sister's ex-husband, which I did. I agreed to move in to help raise my nephew. These past 18 months, I have been helping raise my nephew. I cook, I clean, I could go into everything that I do for him, but I'm not going to because I know what I do for my nephew. When this happened, I received multiple comments, hate comments, evil comments, name calling, death threats, people saying that it should have been me, not her, people saying that I will never amount to anything. I'm only half of what she is. I had never even imagined that people would be able to comment things like that until I experienced it for myself. And I understood why some kids are driven to suicide by cyberbullying. I get it. Everyone has a phone. Everyone has an opinion. You can do whatever you want with either of those things. But I feel like we have a responsibility to choose to spread positivity, to choose to spread light, and choose to spread love. Social media is a beautiful thing when it's used properly. We can spread our ideas, we can get creative, we can be inspired, but we can also judge and criticize others. Compare ourselves, compare our lives, our bodies, our faces. Social media breeds comparison. And like, pretty sure it's Kevin Gates. Like Kevin Gates says, comparison is the killer of all joy. Everyone thinks they have a right to comment on someone else's life because they have the ability. But in no way should someone else's life affect you. Unless it has something to do with any racial slurs, homophobia, sexual assault. Those things need to be aired out. Those things are important to talk about. But who I moved in with after my sister passed away has nothing to do with you. And to everyone commenting about my decision, I will just say that I am very happy that you have not been put in the position to make that decision. And until you are, then we can have a conversation. Before my sister passed, I thought I understood other people grieving. Sympathize. I thought I could sympathize with what they were going through. But in reality, you can't. You cannot understand what someone is going through unless you've gone through it too. The hate, the evil that I got says more about the person saying it than it does me. It shows all of the hurt that's in you that you won't face because it's easier to talk about somebody else. It's easier to look at someone else's life and criticize and judge. When you judge others, you judge yourself. Our culture is 
so enamored with celebrity, with drama, with gossip, with tea. Everyone wants to know what the tea is, spill the tea, but no one wants to look at what's in their own cup because it's hard. I know. It's hard to admit for me that I was hurt by all of those comments. I cried. Because it's not who I am. But it's what people believed me to be. But I can't control what you think about me. I can't control what you say about me. I can only control myself. If I look on my Snapchat right now, there's 15, 20 articles all about people that I don't know, about their personal lives, who got engaged to who, who got married, who broke up, who bought another $5 million house, who bought a purse, this person's face changed for the fourth time this week. Okay. Good for them. That's their face, not mine. So-and-so filed for child support, okay? It's not my baby. So it's not my business, is it? We all wanna preach, mind your own business, but when it comes to minding your own business, you don't. You mind everyone else's business that's on all of these blog sites what they're doing, instead of looking at what you're doing, instead of focusing on your mental health, your life, your home, your family. The Red Cross just put out a state of emergency for blood donations. I think that's really important to know. Things like that are important to know. MGK and Megan Fox getting engaged? Is that important to know? I think it's important that we ask ourselves, where are our priorities? What do we find entertainment in? What is entertainment? Is gossip entertainment? Is drama entertainment? Because I don't think that's fun. I think it's only affirming the problems that you have within. So the next time you want to talk about somebody other than yourself, think about why and what purpose does it have? Are you spreading useful information or are you distracting yourself from the truths of your own life? After going through this, it has only affirmed what I believe. I know that even in this video, there still are going to be people that don't like me. There are going to be people that don't understand me. There is one thing that I learned in life, and that is you're always going to be too much of one thing for someone, or you're always going to be too little of one thing for someone else. So you might as well be yourself. So I am going to continue to speak my truth, be my authentic self, and spread love and positivity as much as I can. And I hope you will too.